Disappointing loss for the Iowa Hawkeyes in the round of 32, well short of their championship aspirations. But even so, this is a team that has a lot to be proud of. They won 14 Big Ten games. They were a two seed in the tournament. They stayed as a top 15 in the AP poll all year long. A lot to be proud of for this team, but nonetheless, it was a disappointing end to the season. It, it was incredibly emotional, as it always is when your season comes to an end. Uh, this team and every other team this year has had to experience something totally and completely unique in the history of college basketball. And, you know, I've said this before, but I'll say it again, how proud I am of their commitment to one another and their sacrifice to get here. Uh, it's been an incredible journey with this group of young men. You always feel uh, a little bit empty when your team loses and, and you're eliminated, but I tried to stress the incredible amount of positive things that happened, you know, the great things we accomplished this year, the th great things we've accomplished as a unit over the last two years, and uh, I wanted them to know how much I appreciate them, how proud I am of them, and how much I love them. It's, you know, heartbreaking, you know, it's so surreal. <laughs> That you know, it kind of just all hit me at once. That you know, this is the last time that you know I'll put on this jersey, um, and you know that's you know, you know that hurts a lot. You know, I, you know, I just you know I feel bad that I wasn't able to lead this team where to where it needs to go, and uh, you know we did a lot of really really good things this year, um, and and it just hurts that we weren't able to you know uh, be able to. Uh, you know, do it when it mattered most, and you know that's something that's going to haunt me forever. It's incredibly heartbreaking, um, but uh, you know I, I love those guys in that locker room. I love my coaches. Uh, everybody in there really changed my life, and you know I just, uh, you know, I did everything I could. Luca Garza will certainly be remembered as one of the best Hawkeyes to ever do it. Going back to something Fran McCaffrey touched on, a lot of sacrifices made by these student athletes this year. Very tight knit group. They didn't let anyone from the outside in. They played on Christmas. They didn't get to see their family. No COVID shutdowns for them this year from start to finish. That's something that should certainly be applauded. They made a lot of happy memories and good times for people throughout the state of Iowa during a very difficult year. Even though it came to an upsetting and abrupt finish, you got to give them credit for all they were able to achieve. Reporting from Indianapolis, I'm Jerick Andreski for Local 4 Sports.